Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pig. It's Mr. Nick. Yay! Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Mr. Nick Show. And I'm your host, Mr. Nick. Today, we are going to be talking about water transportation. Yeah, we're going to talk about all the different ways that you can get from here to there on water and even underwater. The most common way for somebody to travel on water is in a boat. But there are a few different kinds of boats. Let's talk about a speedboat. Whoa, look how fast a speedboat can go across the water. They're pretty fun. Oh man, they can travel fast. Another type of boat that maybe isn't as fast is a rowboat. A speedboat has a motor that can make you go, but a rowboat doesn't have a motor. You have to use oars, which are big paddles. And you, the person in the rowboat, has to row in order to make the boat go. You don't go as fast, but it can be fun, and it's really good exercise. And another type of boat is a sailboat. So if a motorboat or a speedboat has an engine that makes you go, and the rowboat, you inside the boat have to use your energy to make the boat go, a sailboat uses the wind to help it go. You put up these big sails, the wind pushes into the sail, and it helps move the boat. Now, most boats can hold more than one person. Some of them can hold quite a few people. But now, let's talk about canoes and kayaks. A canoe or kayak usually only holds one or two people. Now, the difference between a canoe and a kayak is that a kayak is generally covered on top with one space for the person who's paddling to sit. And a canoe is more open on top. And another difference is that a person in a kayak uses a paddle with two blades to help them paddle. Where traditionally someone in a canoe has a paddle with one blade on it that they would move from one side over to the other depending upon which way they're trying to steer the canoe. Another difference between canoes and kayaks versus boats is that most of the time boats are going to be used either in the ocean or on a lake or maybe on a very, very big river. But a canoe or kayak, since they are smaller, can be used on smaller rivers. So you might get somewhere where it's white water rapids, and you're going down, having fun on the canoe, and you're going to splish and a splash, and a whoa, don't tip over. Yeah, you can do that in a canoe or kayak, and that's pretty fun. Can't do that in a boat. And speaking of white water rapids, another mode of transportation you can use on the water is a raft. Now, a raft can be used as any type of flotation device, but when you're doing it in a river with white water rapids, it can be so crazy and fun. And you can fit quite a few people in there, maybe like six, maybe even eight, depending how big the raft is. It's so fun. Whoa, whitewater rapids, dude, don't flip over. So cool. That is a raft. Now, you can use a raft, like I said, anywhere on water because it floats. That's important. But if you use it in a white water rapid river, so fun. Now, so far, the only mode of transportation that we've talked about that has an engine is a boat with an engine, like maybe a speedboat. Everything else we've talked about so far, you have to use your own energy or the wind's energy to make you move. How about a jet ski? That has an engine. It's like riding a motorcycle on water. You would ride a jet ski in a lake or maybe out in the ocean. A jet ski can really go fast, and the engine propels you through the water. It's a lot of fun, but 
usually an adult has to be in control of that. You don't want to be driving that around as a kid. Not safe. I think you need a driver's license, but it's like riding a motorcycle in the water. That is a jet ski. Now, so far, we've been talking about some pretty relatively small objects here for riding in the water. But now let's talk about a ship. There are several different types of ships. First, let's talk about a cruise ship. Have you ever been on a cruise ship? It's like a floating hotel in the water. So cool. A cruise ship has all these different rooms like a hotel, and it can take you all around the world. You wake up one day in one place, go have fun, get back on the ship, go to sleep, and then wake up somewhere totally new the next day. Another type of ship is a cargo ship. This helps get different types of materials and items from one place in the world all the way across the ocean to another place in the world. This is how we get so many things that we purchase from one place to another where we live. And let's talk about another ship. How about an older type of ship that explorers and travelers used to use? Hey, look, look at the sails. Remember these from the sailboat? Ships used to use sails too before they had engines. That's how explorers would get around from one place to another. They had these ships with massive, huge sails. That's pretty neat. Now, so far, we've only talked about objects that can get you around on top of the water. But did you know that there's something that can get you around underwater? It's called a submarine. Sub means under and marine means water. A submarine is used in the military so that people in the military can get around on water without being spotted on the water. So they're a little sneaky. It helps them, you know, get around without the other side seeing them so easily. Yeah, that's a submarine, and it can fit a lot of people in there. Could you imagine being underwater? They could be there for months. Yeah, it's a very long time. It's pretty cool, a submarine. And another mode of water transportation that can hold a lot of people but is above the water is a water taxi or a ferry. It's kind of like a bus, but it's on the water. So people can use a water taxi or a ferry to get across a body of water. So maybe a lake or the bay, something that's pretty large, but not too large like the ocean. That's a water taxi or also known as a ferry. Now I want to talk about one more thing that can help you get around in the water. And it's not something that you can get on or get in but it's something that you put on. Swim flippers. What are swim flippers? They go on your feet and they help you swim faster. When you kick your feet while wearing swim flippers, it pushes more water with each kick, which makes you go further and faster when you're swimming. And let's put on a snorkel. A snorkel can help you breathe while underwater. It covers your eyes with the protective goggles, and the tube here, the snorkel, helps you breathe so you don't have to take your time lifting your head out of the water every single time you want to take a breath. Swim flippers and a snorkel with goggles are very helpful when it comes to swimming faster and more efficiently. Well, I had a lot of fun talking about all the different ways that you can get around in water. Some of them have motors, some of them use the wind, and some of them you have to use your own energy to get moving. I really enjoyed talking with you guys today, and I hope you liked it too. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit the like button, and hit subscribe so you see all the fun episodes that we're doing on the Mr. Nick Show. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye! Mr. Nick! Mr. Nick, he's our pig, it's Mr. Nick, yay!